This investigation into the Citadel Council is brought to you by Idea Planet. They've just launched a Kickstarter that aims to bring to life a licensed replica of the Citadel itself. Stick around after this episode for more information. As if almost by design, every civilization to emerge upon the galactic stage will do so in a similar manner. Once the first tentative expeditions are mounted beyond the boundaries of their native worlds, their ships will uncover the mass relays, the greatest achievement of the long extinct Protheans, through which interstellar travel is made possible. And while their explorers and pioneers will not realize it, they will have taken the first steps to entering a great galactic community, known as the Citadel Council. Officially, the Citadel Council is a supranational union, binding together a multitude of species and civilizations into a cohesive interstellar society. It possesses no formal authority over the governments of its members, but rather acts as an instrument of intergalactic law. Through various laws and conventions, it codifies the major principles of interstellar relations, from the sovereign equality of its members to prohibition on the use of force. In practical terms, however, it represents an alliance between the galaxy's major powers, for the majority of its history, this was limited to the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. In 2183, however, this grew to include the Systems Alliance. While numerous other civilizations have been granted associate member status, only these four primary nations have the authority to pass Citadel laws. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council and lobby for certain proposals, but ultimately have no input on the decision. Regardless, all associate members are bound to the Council's decisions so long as they remain so. Associate members are often seen as on the path to full membership, but this process is nebulous and reliant on the discretion of the Council. The Citadel Council's eponymous chief executive body is composed of a single councillor appointed by each of its individual members. These individuals act as mutual heads of state and provide a public face for the organization, but the Council consists of a much larger administration and bureaucratic apparatus. Various departments, committees, and agencies exist dedicated to every facet of galactic civilization, from finance, paleotechnology, to emergency services. Both the Council and its supportive institutions are based on a colossal deep space station that serves as the Council's capital, and from which it takes its name. Jointly shared by each member race, it is one of the few places in the galaxy directly administered by the Council without any local government. The station is home to representatives of member races, ambassadors from associate members, and millions of galactic citizens. Citadel Security Services, more commonly known as CSEC, is one of the largest Council institutions and tasked with maintaining public order on the station. Its roughly 200,000 officers provide security, customs enforcement, search and rescue operations, and piracy suppression, both on the Citadel itself and the surrounding region. While neither the Council or CSEC operate an interstellar navy, the Citadel is continuously patrolled by a dedicated Citadel fleet. This force is made up of warships drawn from each of its member nations, with Turian vessels in particular making up the bulk of the Armada. Assignment to the formation is regarded as particularly prestigious, and usually includes vessels with elite crews or the flagships of a member's respective navy. The Destiny Ascension, flagship of the Asari Republics, was one such vessel, and estimated to have equaled the firepower of the rest of the Asari fleet combined. The Citadel fleet is rarely deployed away from the Citadel or outside Citadel space, but has occasionally been used to assist in the peacekeeping operations of its members when requested by the Council. These deployments are usually temporary, with the notable exception of the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, which oversees the Krogan Demilitarized Zone. The Citadel Fleet and CSEC are critical resources in maintaining galactic stability, but are typically reactive in nature. Instead, it is the special tactics and reconnaissance agents, known as Spectres, that actively seek out potential threats. Spectres operate under no formal command structure, answering only to the Council, and granted the authority to take whatever measures they deem appropriate. Its members are drawn from the most elite military units of the Council's member nations, 
Their service histories are classified, only disclosed to the public after a set amount of time. The council has existed for over two and a half millennia, first proposed by the Asari to facilitate a partnership with the Salarians after both independently discovered the Citadel. Its founding marks the beginning of the Galactic Standard Calendar, Year Zero GS. Rapid growth was achieved in the ensuing centuries, and first contact was made with dozens of species who would go on to earn associate membership. Both the Rachni Wars and subsequent Krogan Rebellions threatened to destabilize the Council's authority, each the result of highly aggressive and expansionist species entering the galactic community. The latter crisis was ultimately ended by the Turian hierarchy, earning them a seat on the Council. But the methods by which they achieved this victory created a lasting enmity that has endured into the modern era. With the Asari assuming the role of diplomats and negotiators, the Salarians' affinity for intelligence gathering, and the Turians' aptitude for peacekeeping, the galaxy entered a renewed age of peaceful development. The Geth War was the largest incident of this era, notable for the Council's refusal to aid the Quarians in their struggle against an artificial intelligence of their own creation. Development into AI was outlawed following the war, and the Quarians' status as associate members was revoked. The accelerated expansion of human civilization across the galaxy, and their equally swift integration into Citadel society, marked a new era in the history of the Council. Humanity's appointment to full members after only 26 years was unprecedented, and seen by many elder races as reckless, preferential treatment. The System's Alliance seat on the Council was granted largely as a result of their actions during the Battle of the Citadel in which a force of Geth warships devastated the Citadel fleet and attempted an invasion of the station. The intervention of the Alliance forces successfully routed the Geth, repelling the first armed attack on the Citadel in modern history. Yet, according to some reports, the attack was orchestrated by a so-called Reaper, a member of an immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. But the Citadel Council has dismissed such claims. This episode is brought to you by Idea Planet. If you've ever wanted to give the Reapers a clandestine entry point into your home through which they can destroy galactic civilization, you're in luck. A Kickstarter has just been launched today that aims to produce a high quality, authentically detailed model of the Citadel. It's perfect for facilitating galactic trade, hosting dignitaries, or ignoring galactic threats until it's nearly too late. Idea Planet has been behind some of the best merchandise from your favorite alternate worlds, Bioshock, Fallout, Halo, Destiny, Far Cry, really the list goes on, and the quality is always spectacular. So, if you'd like to get a model of the Citadel, you'll find a link to the Kickstarter in the description. I'm Commander Shepard, and I have no strong opinions regarding the Templin Institute one way or the other. 